This 1944 photograph of Jake McNeese putting war paint on his fellow paratroopers gave them all international notoriety. Major Reisman, you are ordered by Allied Command to select 12 general prisoners. This 1967 film, based on their heroics, gave them something more. But you only made one mistake. Sorry. Criminal records. You let somebody see you do it. Hollywood's Dirty Dozen were convicts given a second chance. And while it's true that, like Lee Marvin in the movie... You're still the dirtiest soldiers in this man's army. And you're getting filthier every day. Jake McNeese commanded a dozen hygienically and professionally challenged soldiers. McNeese says none were criminals. And unlike Marvin's character, McNeese was just as challenged, if not more so. So in reality, this was a fraternity of 13, not 12. And they weren't the Dirty Dozen, but the Filthy Thirteen, a moniker they earned. Shut up, German! Thank you. I know a shortcut. Let's go. Okay, the the plan of Adolf Hitler is We never wore a piece of clothing. We never shined any shoes or boots and we didn't salute officers. We didn't go for any of that malarkey, you know. Now 87, at home with his wife Martha, it's hard to see Jake McNeese as a troublemaker. But 63 years ago, the ex-Ponca City football star was full of fight. 